Pizza Festival began on Friday. Problems have emerged with self-driving taxis carrying people home. Cars were stalled in the middle of busy streets on that first night, causing some traffic headaches. This happened just a day after the state PUC granted permission to both Cruz and Waymo to start charging for their rides. Betty Yu has an update on the effort to avoid any further glitches. As you can see, there's like one, two, three, four cruise cars blocking. No one can get through. Witnesses said there were about 10 driverless cars paralyzed on two narrow streets in San Francisco's North Beach neighborhood Friday night around 11 p.m. And it makes me feel horrible because people can die. If there's an emergency, the emergency vehicles cannot come down through. They can't, I mean, roll through those cars. This was longtime North Beach resident Jeffrey Bilbury's view of Vallejo Street near Grand Avenue. He said the cars were disabled for about 15 minutes. I was warning people because pe people from out of town did not know these cars didn't have no drivers in them. These cars have no drivers. These cars have no drivers. And I was screaming that out my window. This is what our country's come to. On Saturday, Cruz told KPIX the Outside Lands Music Festival created wireless connectivity issues, causing delayed connectivity to their vehicles. It is actively investigating and working on solutions to prevent this from happening again and apologizes to those impacted. I talked to Cruz today and they said that they're exploring creating their own cell phone system. Well, that's not going to happen overnight. But meanwhile, they're deploying hundreds of more cars on our streets. Uh, they should take a time out and a pause until they've perfected this technology in a way where people don't end up burning to death or getting injured. Supervisor Aaron Peskin, whose district includes North Beach, said right now there are about 600 driverless cars between Cruz and Waymo in the city. And there have been about 50 documented incidents of interference with first responders. On Thursday, a witness captured a cruise car blocking a fire truck at an active scene at 24th and Valencia, adding that the fire truck was forced to back up so the vehicle could move. This is ground zero in the United States of America for testing these vehicles. Um, and and we're, we're all learning what the experience is together. We're asking them to work with us in a responsible way uh, that benefits the public. This tourist from New York also witnessed Friday's spectacle. So they've got some kinks to sort out, I would say. So it's not an efficient way of getting around. It's a novel way of getting around. We don't need them here. We did fine before they came here. 